Hi everyone, Bruno here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a product and do an unboxing and have an overall view of this product. The product we're going to look at is a pressure washer. Now in Canada, this is the Simonize Platinum 1800 PSI washer. For our American followers, they're going to know it under the name of Active Products. And that's the secret for the Canadians about this special product. Okay, so the Simonize Platinum 1800 PSI washer in Canada is known as a Simonize product sold at Canadian Tire, which is an automotive outlet for our American friends that may not be familiar with it. This pressure washer has a secret that a lot of buyers when they're shopping don't know about it. There's a couple of secrets, but I'll tell you the first one that's the biggest. It's actually made by a company called Active Products. They are a Canadian company. They make pressure washers that are typically rebranded for specific store brands. In Canada, that's under the Simonize name. Now you could purchase this up until uh, recently from the Active Products website. There are still a few retailers in Canada that you can purchase it from and in the US. Now, Canada, it's the Simonize brand. In the US, it is Active Products. This is their VE52 pressure washer. The reason I'm gonna do this video is because if you're a car buff like me, a truck buff, you like to detail your vehicles, there are some secrets that I'm gonna reveal shortly about this pressure washer and why you may wanna look at it. Now, a couple of disclaimers I wanna make here. Active Products and Canadian Tire did not pay me for this video and they did not send this. This pressure washer was actually purchased by myself with my own funds and I thought I'd do the video to bring it out to the car and truck community or if you just want to be able to wash your car quickly without a lot of hassles and you've been thinking about a pressure washer this is the one that you may want to look at closely that won't break the bank. Myself, and you'll see just off to the side over here, I already have a pressure washer. And it's a gas pressure washer. Now, the secret behind these pressure washers is actually opposite to the way they're marketed in the industry. You're going to see advertisements, whether it's on Amazon, different websites, Canadian Tire, whoever it is, and everybody focuses on the PSI. 1800, 2400, 1600. And that's important, but if you're doing any detail work, it's not the most important item. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, my background isn't as a car detailer. I have been an owner of an RV dealership and was actively participating with the crew when it came to detailing some of our units. Not so much trailers, higher end fifth wheels and our big buses. We carried 45 foot buses that people could live out of and travel in and those clients were very particular about their units. So I worked actively with the team and even took time out from the normal running of the operation to actually go in detail and help train our team in better detailing of the exterior and interiors of these coaches. And that has been from my love of cars plus the evolution in our business. So I'm going to try to bring some, I'm going to call it semi-professional information to you that you can use at your home without breaking the bank. Because the easy thing, if budget's not an, an issue, you go out and get an AR Blue or a Kranzel pressure washer, but you're going to end up spending, you know, 
1200 dollars $1,500, minimum up to about $3,000. And if budget's not an issue, great. But really, who wants to spend that kind of money for home use, even if you can afford it? So there are some products, and Active has been known for that. In the YouTube community, there's a lot of detailers that talk about these, and they've been using them, even though this is a mid-level commercial, uh, sorry, personal brand, not commercial brand, they've been using it commercially in their car detailing businesses. And the reason for that, as I started to allude to, it's not PSI that's the most important. It's the gallons per minute. It's the flow rate. When you're detailing, cars especially, you need a little more PSIs on big motor homes when you're cleaning. But when you're doing cars, ideally you want to have a lower PSI and a higher flow rate. And that's so you don't damage your vehicle. The flow rate becomes really important. I haven't pulled it out here, but if you want to use a snow foam cannon, and we're going to bring you another video in the future talking about snow foam cannons and some of their um, uses and comparisons. But if you want to use a snow foam cannon, a lot of the snow foam cannons require that you have you know, upwards of two gallons or more per minute in order to get proper foam. And that's give or take. So that's why I thought this would be a great video to show you this product. Now, we're gonna unbox it. I have opened it because I wanted to just make sure everything was good when I made the purchase. Some background about prices. I'll start Canadian and I'll talk US. In Canada, this can be purchased from Canadian Tire. It has a retail price of about $300. You can find it on sale from time to time for around $230, which is what we paid for it, which is a great value. In the US, they did get this product as the active VE52 earlier than here in Canada, and it was sold for about $250 US. Currently, you can buy this in Canada from Canadian Tire, a few other suppliers, and even a, a, a vendor on Amazon. But you're typically going to be about $320 to, believe it or not, someone's asking $452 for this. Now, in the US, the big buzz is the Active 2.0 pressure washer that Active has released. You can purchase that here in Canada, not yet made for Canadian Tire under one of their brands. But that product in the US, I believe you're about $350 US. In Canada, you're about $485 to $500 Canadian. So at $230, this has very similar specs, a um, couple of small differences. And I'll discuss that as we go along. But if, if you can get this for $230 to $300, it's a great deal. And it's going to give you that high flow rate, rated at two gallons per minute. Now, let's open it up and take a look at what we're going to see in here. First thing you're going to notice, of course, are your manuals. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to pull the box back a little bit and take out some of the paper. You're going to get a 20 foot hose. Now these hoses are actually, you know, a little tough. So we're going to bring you a future video that is actually going to be how can you bring this up to that car detailing level on a reasonable budget. So you'll want to check back to see that. Now what we also have here, we have the, I'm going to call them the end plates. This one actually attaches to one side so you can wrap your electrical cord around. This are actually supports that attach to the main washer to hold your gun and the wand. Then you're also going to get a little foam cannon. So if 
you're not looking to get professional results. You just want to use it as a speedy and convenient way to wash your car at home or your truck. A foam cannon like this is going to be more than enough for you and it comes in the kit. It's going to do a pretty good job. It's going to be relatively semi-thick, let's say. It's not going to be shaving cream thick like a more professional foam cannon is going to do. And we are going to do a future video when the weather warms up. We're shooting in the garage here in case you're wondering because it's below freezing outside. When it warms up, we're going to bring you a video comparing some foam cannons, including the one that comes with this kit. So watch for that. Now let's take a look. We also have our gun. Now it is a plastic gun, and I'm going to tell you a little secret you're going to need in a second. And further down here in the box is the wand that will attach to the end of the gun. Now the nice thing, the guns are basically plastic guns, uh, not super high quality, they're good quality, that's all you really need, but you know, my preference, and I'll give you a little hint, is actually to use the shorter gun itself, and that will be in one of our upgrade videos. What I do like is it's a metal wand where so many of the pressure washers these days, if you look at them, they're coming with plastic wands and it has a quarter inch quick connect at the end to be able to put your nozzles um, swap in and out on that. We're going to go back to the gun in a second. You know, there's some packaging here you'll need to get rid of. And then let's lift this up. We'll push the box back and we will remove the plastic from the washer so that you can see it here. We'll take off the foam that protects our water inlet. So the pressure washer is nice compact, it's easy to move around. You get an extra long cord. I believe we are something like 20, 25 feet. And you know what I'll do? I'll post it here in the video. Um, it just slipped my mind as to how long it is. Now, if you're in the US, you're going to get a plug with a GFCI on it. In Canada, that's built in at the breaker level, so we don't get that. We get the standard plug for any of our American friends who are wondering. Now, the the washer is nice and compact, and that's been one of the reasons that a lot of car detailers like this package. Even though it's not a commercial unit, they like that it's small, it's been easy to use. It's also had several updates from when it was first released, I guess about four years ago now. Um, there were a couple of issues with the power buttons sticking after time and there were a couple of issues of hooking up when you hooked up longer hoses that it would cycle on and off a lot more and those type of issues have been worked out over the various generations of the unit over the four years. So we're going to test some of that once the weather gets warmer outside. It's really straightforward. As you can see, it's compact, it's easy. As I mentioned, one of our holders goes on the end here for the foam gun, one goes on the end to wrap up our electrical cord, and then our wand sits at the back here, and then between the two plastic add-ons, our gun will actually sit up here. And that's nice because everything's compact and easy. So if you wanted to mount this on a wall close to one of your faucets, you could mount it, have a long hose, watch for a future video, and never really move it. You can have it in one location. Maybe you want to pull it, put it on a pull cart. It's nice and small to be able to do that versus as you can get the glimpse of the big gas power washer over there. Also, if you happen to be lucky enough, I'm a car guy and this garage is heated. In the winter, if I really wanted to 
clean up one of my winter vehicles, the nice thing with an electric pressure washer is in a heated garage like we are today, we can actually wash our vehicle down, dry it up, and we've got a nice clean vehicle rather than you know having it all covered in salt especially when like in my location the local car washes are not that convenient to get to now what you see here is our inlet for our water so you'd hook up your water hose to this ideally if you have either softened water at your house or a um, a reverse osmosis system or you can even go with a deionized system if you really wanted to get fancy. Our route, I like softened water so we run a line from, or we, I run a line from my house and all the interior lines that are softened with water, that is hooked up also to the garage so when I wash the vehicles you get less water spotting the water doesn't have as many minerals in it and it's it's good you still need to to dry the vehicle off but it gives you a big advantage now a little secret that you're going to need to know because you're going to need to purchase an accessory if you're going to do some upgrades the in uh, the outlet here for the water which is where normally your hose is going to hook up to is a little bit different than a gas pressure washer. And if you're thinking of doing some upgrades to help you in your cleaning, you're going to need to know this. You're going to need to purchase an adapter. Now, our American friends or our Canadian friends that purchase this as an active products, VE52, it will come with an adapter. If you buy the Simonize, it does not. Now, the reason you need an adapter, this fitting down here is called an M2215. What that is, is the, th the threading out in here is an M22. This interior piece is 15 millimeters. Now, gas pressure washers, commercial electric units, higher end units are going to be an M2214. That seems to be the industry standard. So if you want to hook up a gun like this to this hose, not going to work. This is a 14. Now the 14 is the interior diameter where this is 15, so of course, as you can see, that's not going to work. So you will need an adapter. The nice thing is you can purchase these. Uh, we just actually, this will be in the next video. I just purchased this. This is an M22 15 to 14 adapter. You can buy these on Amazon, it's the easiest way to get them, and they're going to run you somewhere around $12 to $15 for a set of two. Now the reason you're going to want two is one of them, you're going to take here, thread it on to the outlet, and that way you're now converted to an M2214. Now any higher-end pressure washer hoses that you'll use to higher-end accessories like your, your shorter hand wands will actually be that M2214. And it just makes it more universal. Plus, if you're like myself, that you have a gas pressure washer, already have a number of accessories, you can now interchange between the two where most electric are going to be M2215s. So that's really good. The reason you want the second one is if you want to be able to use this gun, this fitting is an M2215. So again, we can put this adapter right on it which brings it down to 14 so we can use it with our higher quality hoses and be able to interchange it quickly.
And that's a secret for our next video, how to interchange all this equipment really quickly while you're washing and not making it a hassle. So check for our future video. So that's the M2250. Now, a couple of things you need to know about this. It says it's an 1800 PSI, and it is. The PSI is rated as a maximum. So the nozzle that comes with it, the various nozzles, you take the smallest nozzle that, that lets out the least amount of water. That's how they usually get this high, high rating. Now, if you, I'm just gonna check. Um, if you use, well, I don't have one here. If you use something like these smaller ones, and sorry, I forgot to point out that you get several nozzles here. If you use the nozzle that comes with it, it's going to be rated to go up to 1800 PSI. But that is typically if you're using one of the smaller nozzles. When you go to a 40 degree spread, because they're going to have, I think it's, what is it, zero, uh, 15, 0, 25, and 40 here, you can get them in a variety of angles that they shoot. And we will see if they mark this. So this is marked as a 40, 0, 3, 7. What that means is it's a 40 degree angle, the way it shoots the water out. And the 037 tells you that the orifice, the opening, is 3.7 millimeters. Now, ideally, 3.7, 3.9, 4 millimeter orifice is kind of ideal for washing cars. It's a widespread, so if you get up a little too close, you're not getting too much pressure. And when you use the larger orifice, it's actually going to drop the PSIs. So with a 3.7 to 4 millimeter orifice and that 40 degree spread, which is your white nozzle, if you're new to this, this will not be an 1800 PSI pressure washer. It's going to actually be about 1100 PSI, approximately, give or take 50 PSI each way. It's going to be about an 1100 PSI pressure washer. So nice low pressure so you're not damaging your car that as you you know take your wand and you go across the car should there be a paint chip should you have a decal that's peeled a little bit or a piece of trim because most of you if you have friends with pressure washers have heard this that at some point they've gotten too close and that little chip became a big chip because they went and caught underneath the edge of the chip and it peeled the paint back and made the chip larger or they've peeled that decal off etc so by dropping the psi it's safer for washing your car and you're going to get and there's there's various guys deep professional detailers that have uh, videos on youtube that have tested this unit and test a variety of units, they get about 1.8 to two gallons per minute, which is kind of an ideal. So you're getting a lot of water flow with low pressure for washing your car, which is ideal. And that's why you want something like this. When you get typically in this price range, you might be able to save $50 Canadian, $30 American. You can buy some pressure washers that are 1600, 1800 PSI, but you'll notice the flow rates are only 1.2, 1.5 gallons per minute. And they're good, but they're not great, especially if you want to use the foam cannon or you have a better quality foam cannon, like a Chemical Guys, an MJJC, an MTM, they're not gonna give you the foam that is going to be uh, essentially a shaving cream foam. And we have one video, which I'll post a link here, 
of a foam can in comparison we've done for those of you that are new that you can see what it means with the foam. Now the reason you want to use a foam canning is that that soap foams up really thick cream, sits on the car, and actually breaks the dirt away from the paint. And that way, what you can do is you're actually touching the car less. Nowadays, with the high-end paints, with the clear coats they have, and especially as you get into darker colors, the burgundies, the blacks, you'll notice cars that aren't that old. And if they're not, haven't been washed right, especially blacks, you can actually see scratches across the paint. And that's just by someone using a wash mitt. And that's simply because they're taking the wash mitt, dunk, dunking it in a bucket with soap, even though they've rinsed the car, there's a lot of dirt stuck, and then they're wiping it down. And even if you flip over your mitt and wipe it again, you're still carrying that dirt with you. So with a good pressure washer and a foam cannon, you can foam the entire car, let it sit a few minutes, let it break down that dirt, let it lift the dirt up off the paint, go back, pressure wash, clean that foam off, and then go back and reapply another coat of the foam and that way again you're going to apply that second one that second one is going to take any residual dirt start to break it up and because it's shaving cream thick when you now run your microfiber or chenille mitt across it you have lots of lubrication from the foam and that lubrication is what's going to keep you from scratching up your car. Now you're always going to get some sort of light scratching, but the idea is the more lubrication, the less the scratches, the more washes, the more years it takes to actually, you know, start to see those little fine scratches, which for you, as an owner of the car means less detailing time every year. You're not going to have to polish that car every year, which is taking a thin coating off your clear coat. Now, if you're not like me that enjoys detailing the cars and taking that time, the pressure washer is still a great investment for you. It'll allow you to soap up the car quicker, wash it quicker, be done with that chore if it's a chore for you. Put it away and you're done. You can have the rest of your weekend or your weeknight to go do other things that you do enjoy. For us car and truck enthusiasts, it's gonna make the job easier, make it more pleasurable, let you have some more professional style tools, which will bring in another video and be able to do it at a reasonable cost so you're not having to go out and spend several thousand dollars worth of uh, equipment to be able to get a good job. Now the other reason an electric washer is good like this is you can run it indoors if you want to get out of the sun. It's a lot quieter than what a gas unit's going to be and that's why you know, I'm not going to get rid of my gas unit. It was purchased because it's 3,100 PSI. Again, didn't care about the PSI. It's rated at 2.4 gallons per minute. And that is what the driver on that unit was. Now, gas washers are good if you want to get the high PSI because you want to clean patio stones. Maybe you've got brick or siding that needs to be cleaned and you want to have the ultimate portability, well, you can't beat the gas washer. But car washing, detailing, little cleanups, the electric is definitely the way to go. Now, in the US, it's getting harder to find this unit because it's been replaced by the Active 2.0. Still a two gallon per minute rating of flow through, 
It's still rated, I believe, at 1800 PSI max. It's going to work a little more efficiently than this unit, but basically the same pump. Now, this unit and the Active 2.0 uses a five piston axial, axial pump, which is unique to active products. And basically what it does is it's a special design that Active has worked on that makes it work more efficiently, be able, is able to put out more pressure and more flow through for the gallons per minute, but it's not going to, you know, drive the price super high. So it's something they do in the Active 2.0, they've refined it a little bit, which has extended its run life. This unit is rated for about 100, 150 hours of run or lifetime running, which for most people at home is going to be years worth of use. And you got to consider when professional detailers are using it, and they're not that concerned that it's 100, 150 hours, gives you a little idea of what they think of the unit itself. $230 to $300, you can buy it here in Canada. Um, the Active 2.0, some of you are probably saying, well, you know, if that's the newer one, why don't we look at that? Here in Canada, it's going to be about $485, $500, as I mentioned earlier in the video. In the US, I believe it's around $350 to $400 US. So it's significantly enough right now, more in price, especially here in Canada, that makes this much more attractive um, overall. Anyways, that's been a relatively quick video around this. When the weather warms up outside, we'll bring you a practical video showing you the use of this. We'll also bring you a video coming up shortly that we can shoot indoors. I'm just waiting for some supplies to come in, some upgrades that we're going to be adding to this pressure washer for our setup. And I've started thinking about that because spring is right around the corner. We've had a couple of decent days, snow's starting to melt, and that means spring cleaning is coming. Even though the cars are under tarp right now, both of them, soon it'll be time to take the covers off, take them down. I like to give them a fresh wash in the spring, even though they were washed just as they went into storage, because you still have dust, etc., flying around. Give it a really good cleaning, then you can evaluate, you know, do we need to do any polish from last year? Do we? Uh, you know, is it ready for that coat of, I'm going to say, wax at this point? Uh, you know, whether you're using a high-end wax or a ceramic coating, that you can do that and you're now ready for the, the spring and summer driving season. It's also good if you're doing this for your regular vehicles because now you can clean them up really well, give them a good coat of wax or ceramic coating for the spring and the summer, and then again in the winter before you put it away. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful and that you found this little secret, especially for our Canadian friends, as I'm here in Canada, that you can save yourself a bunch of money, get a really good pressure washer, and, you know, really make your job easy around the house or your business. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button, hit the subscribe, check out some of our other videos on our sister channel, RVing TV, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Check back soon, click that notification button, and we will have some additional pressure washer related videos for you and your detailing needs. We'll see you soon.